Hello, Gemini. This is Starbright. I'm here today to do a reading on you guys, a daily reading. Try to see what's going on with you guys. It's going to be for the sun, the moon, rising, and Venus. This is not going to resonate with everyone, so please do not get mad if it's not your store. Hmm. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air. What messages do you have for Gemini? What love messages do you have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini? What love messages do you have for Gemini? What love messages do you have for Gemini for July the 4th, 2020? What love messages do you have for Gemini for July the 4th, 2020? Some of you guys are dealing with a marriage. Tell me more about this. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this marriage. This is someone that you're holding on to. You're trying to stand up. For, you're trying to stand up for yourself or what you believe in. This is someone that you're committed to. Tell me more, Spirit, about this. Tell me more. Tell me more. You see this person as you wish. This person make you very happy. Some guys are dealing with Leo. This is someone you've been waiting on. So you trying to make a decision about this? You want to take this person out somewhere. You want, you're trying to follow your heart. This is someone that you're thinking about the good times that you have with this person. You want to send someone a message, a very important message, unexpected message to this person about storing a new passion beginning. This is your soulmate. You want to start back talking to this person. This Queen of Cup, Cancer, Pints of Scorpio, or a Gemini, another Gemini. You want victory. You feel like this person is a trophy. This is someone that you've been watching, been following their, like, going through their social media page, going by their house, asking a friend, talking to the family about this person. You see this person very flirty. You see this person like to be seen. <laughs> but you see a loving family you can have with this person. You're very passionate about this person. But this person is like in and out your life. So you have to make a decision that you want to work on things with this person. Because you see that you and this person will be together for long term. For a long period of time. Not worried about money. This person can be a little bit controlling. This person can have their own business. This person can be in a third party. Or you can be in a third party. Or just someone that you made at work. You want a new beginning with this person. This is someone that you walked away from. Trying to make a decision, a final decision about this person. And you get, you're getting some help. You're getting pushed by the angels to make this decision. This is someone that you had the end of a cycle with. This is someone that you're trying to manifest back into your life. This is someone that you was hiding things. A person live at a distance from you. This is someone that you had cut out your life. Overall energy. Overall energy. Let me guys think about this person. Someone very independent. Person that met their financial goal in life. Some guys want to charge into this person. 
You want to start. You see this person as an ideal partner, someone very grounded. You see security with this person. You want things to change. So you want to move forward with this person because you're feeling left out in the cold, bottom of the deck. You want to move to common waters with this person. I got all the signs here. I got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Aries, Leo, Sag. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up and thank you guys for following my channel. Until next time.